This is Dr. Tim Page from Oakland University, William Belmont School of Medicine. I'm going to be showing a recently published technique of a suture guided catheter tension ring that was described initially to avoid iatrogenic zonular dialysis, but in this case, the suture guided technique can be used to help guide a CTR past fibrotic haptics or other areas of fibrosis in the capsular bag. The first step is a thorough visco dissection of the capsular bag with OVD. In the case of an accommodating IOL, sometimes the easiest entry point into the capsular bag is at this flexible hinge. It's important to continually inject the OVD while we are mechanically moving the cannula about the capsular bag to help prevent damage to the capsular bag. To utilize the suture guided CTR, place a single armed 10 nylon suture through the leading eyelet of the CTR. Draw the suture through the eyelet to create a long double stranded guide suture with the trailing ends outside of the eye. Cut the needle off, leaving a few centimeters for wound closure at the conclusion of the case. You insert the CTR in the typical fashion, but here you can see that there's resistance of the CTR with an acute bend opposite of the wound. The surgeon should use these cues to know when to employ traction on the guide suture. In this case, the main wound is not providing a good leverage angle. A microforcep can be placed through a paracentesis to provide a better angle for the guide suture. A second paracentesis could be created if necessary. A Sinsky hook can be used to deliver the trailing end of the CTR into the capsular bag. The CTR will expand to the fornix of the capsular bag and no further visco dissection is required in this case. Rotation of the intraocular lens is ideal. However, in this case where the haptics have become firmly fibrosed, the risk of dialysis outweighs the benefit of rotation. That concludes our case of a suture-guided CTR insertion. This is Dr. Tim Page. Thank you for your attention.